I thought I wasn't going to take another clip because uh, but I've got so many SD cards. It, the battery's the only problem. Now the um, the head of the camera is now right up against the the windscreen, and maybe that's the trick. I've just I've got, I'm putting my finger behind it at the moment, holding it right next to the um, windscreen. I thought, well, you got the perfect day. Might as well test it. And so I think we've got the perfect image. Now, do I need another hockey strap holding it against the windscreen? You know, just mildly, you know, like, like I'm holding with my finger at the moment. So we'll get up to uh, speed here. And then I'll take my finger away. And we'll see how we go. If it starts rattling and shaking and all that sort of thing, well then we'll know I need to replace my finger with some sort of mechanical device, probably another hockey strap, which I think I already did, like, I think I did yesterday, but, uh, so I'm going to have to buy myself another pair of hockey straps. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to take my finger away as we go, well, I'll probably on the next bit, bit, bit of straight track, we'll see how we go. Go around here. So it's the same, we're going across the same area thing it's a good test everything else is roughly identical we go at the same speed and i get up to 80 and i take my finger away and uh okay i'm going to take my finger away now so from now on is it shaking looks like it is now if i put my finger back oh yes it makes a difference oh yes so maybe that's what i have to do just for today <laughs> is just hold my finger there this thing is the only other way I can uh, that's all I need is another bloody uh, pair of hockey straps I think another pair so I'm that's why I'm <laughs> back to the shop again for another pair of hockey straps <laughs> oh yeah well it, it seems to make uh, uh, well I take my finger away again it's all shaky all over the place isn't it well, I mean maybe that's the way you like it <laughs> but, uh, Oh well, well, I think that's the final thing. Once I do that, it's, it's going to take. It, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to set it all up every time. But you know, if we get nice, nice drive-along pictures, you know, with this. And what did I say the other day? Yeah, we learn on. We learn how to do this right at the end of the season. And we have to wait to early. Finger on. There we go. How's that? Wait until we get into 2014 to uh, take more footage. Oh well, maybe I'll think up a few uh, runs. But what I want to do next year is um, Uh, try and find this uh, area where my I used to go out with my mum in the early uh, you know late 70s early 1980s when I first came to South Australia and we used to you know go out for morning you know morning picnics or thing and grab a donut along the way sort of thing you know Cowden Bakery we were going down south some other bakery up north if we were going north and we went up near uh, Mount Crawford I think it was we're going down this road and it had a certain angle I can still remember you know sort of slope to it and curve to it I can still remember stopped the car there and on the left hand side of that road walked out into this area and basically it was just pure mica I mean it was like you know like with the vermiculite is expanded mica it was just you know the pre-stage of vermiculite it was just pure mica there was nothing else on the ground it was just pure mica and Covering the ground was the best land judicious I've ever seen. Not only have I've ever seen in this state, it was the best land judicious I've ever seen. You know, the best glids I've ever seen. So uh, I'm hoping with Google Maps to try and relocate it, but so far it's been pretty difficult. But then again, what with our knowledge about the 50-50 the, um, peat and sand um, changes, um, you know, to a silver grey colour, maybe 
something similar happens with the vermiculite, you know, during the winter time it looks like, you know, um, sorry, the mica during the winter time looks like vermiculite, but in the summer when it all dries out, maybe it goes again, goes like a you know, silvery grey colour or something, and I'm looking for the wrong colour at the moment because I haven't clicked with that, so uh, anyway, we've just gone past uh, the, the turn into uh, uh, Scott Creek, the, the, Dorset, the upper Dorset Vale Road, we're going past that and we're going to take the next uh, major road to our right which I've forgotten the name of I was only here for the first time a couple of nights ago anyway so um, I've, got, I've got a hero behind me so I better pull over and I'll probably start a new clip Whoa, <laughs> that was an interesting way to win. <laughs> and what does the sign say? Yes, you bloody knobhead. It's not a good idea to be a hero in this stretch of road. Anyway, over and out, we'll start a new clip.